Okay, let's talk about this nice, interesting little math problem here. And this is something that uh, if you're taking algebra or basic geometry, uh, certainly a high school student, hopefully, I could handle this problem. But uh, even if you have no idea what to do in this problem, by the time uh, you finish with this video, you'll be an expert. So the problem is, how long is the shadow? So we got a couple things going on here, right? So we have a tree, okay? It's 50 foot uh, tall, okay? And it's casting a shadow that goes out 125 feet, okay? So this tree is casting a shadow of 125 feet, meaning the sun is over here, right? So everyone kind of gets the picture. Boom, shadow is casting down. Now, let's say you're six foot tall and you're right next to the tree, okay? And your shadow is going to be casting out like over here, right? So the question is, how long is your shadow or the shadow of the person that's six foot tall standing right next to the tree? How long is that shadow? Okay, so given that the tree... This, cat, this 50 foot tree is cast in a shadow of 120, 125 foot. A six foot person right next to the tree would be cast in a shadow how long? Okay, so if you think you know what to do, I would certainly encourage you to pause the video and just, you know, think about this for a quick second. I mean, if you're watching a video, might as well see if you can, um, you know, even if you're completely lost, just think, hey, I could, you know, I, how may, <laughs> what could be some approaches to this? But obviously, I'm going to solve it and emphasize some really important things and uh, and mathematics that you uh, want to know. But before we do that, let me go ahead and quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tabla Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher, and over the last several years, I've constructed many, many online full complete math courses. I'm going to leave a link to my math learning program in the description of this video if that's something you want to check out. And also, I have hundreds of videos on my YouTube channel, and I'm posting all the time. So hopefully, you'll become a subscriber. And obviously, if you like this video, smash that like button. Okay, so let's get to it. And uh, so here's the problem again. And the first thing is we need to kind of understand what is the nature of this problem. Like what, you know, what's... Uh, what mathematical tools do we need to kind of bring uh, to bear? Well, basically what's going on, anytime there's a kind of word problem situation, you kind of want to distill this down into more basic figures. So we have a tree, okay? It's kind of going like this. And we're kind of making some assumptions too. We're, we're assuming that this tree doesn't go off like, you know, on an angle or whatnot. It goes perfectly perpendicular to the ground, okay? So the top of the tree, obviously it's casting a shadow all the way down like so. So if you kind of see what's going on here, this is a triangle, right? So it's actually a right triangle is what we're uh, thinking about. So we got like this triangle like so, okay? And it's 50 foot here and 125 foot there. Okay, that's the shadow and this is the height of the tree. So this is the basic idea of what's going on. Now we have this person, but we can kind of represent that person Okay, in the same manner. Okay, so that person's six foot tall, and they they're going to cast a shadow out that's x feet. We don't know the uh, the quantity of that. That's obviously what we're looking uh, to figure out in this problem. So what we have here is something called um, similarity. Okay, so in geometry it goes by this little squiggly symbol. Okay, and basically the concept of similarity. It is pretty easy. Uh, basically, just think of the zoom function, right? So let's say you're on your smartphone or anything else, right? You get your little, your two fingers out and you you expand, right? The web page and you can see it bigger or you can shrink it down and see it smaller, okay? So similarity, all right, goes by this little uh, symbol like this. Don't confuse similarity with something called congruent, okay? So that goes, that's... Uh, two little deals like this, okay? That's different. But similarity means that two figures are basically a copy-paste of one another, but one zoomed in or one zoomed out, okay? So you can see here, we have the kind of exact same situation because the sun, wherever it's out, wherever it's at, is going to cast the uh, a shadow that's in proportion with what the tree is doing, okay? So the tree in its shadow, you or the person that's six foot tall is going to have a uh, shadow length that's in proportion to what the tree is doing, right? Just, that just kind of makes sense. 
So these two triangles are similar to one another, meaning that they're not the same size, but they are in proportion. Okay, the lengths are in proportion to one another. So this really gets into the concept of proportions, ratios and proportions, etc. So if you think that, oh, okay, I kind of remember this. Uh, if you kind of have that idea now in your head of what to do, I would certainly encourage you to go ahead and solve it. All right, so again, now we, you know, we distilled this uh, kind of word problem into two um, you know, uh, triangles so we can kind of study this a little more precisely. And now we know that it involves similar triangles and proportions, okay? So I can teach on this all day long. Really, really important stuff. This is a very important to uh, topic in math and algebra. A lot of word problems are solved using ratios and proportions. So, you know, it's good that if you're in a whatever, I don't know what your situation is, whether you're an algebra student or you're taking a test or whatever the case might be, you need to know proportions for sure. Okay, so let's get into it. Uh, and here we go. And of course, I kind of already did the work here to save us some time. So this little thing right here, this right triangle, that little square in there, that's not a trivial thing to do, okay? It's indicating that these, um, uh, this angle here is 90 degrees, okay? So that's important that we indicate that. Of course, you know, we're just assuming that the tree is perpendicular to the ground, and this person, this six-foot person, is, is standing perfectly straight, has wonderful posture, and they're perpendicular to the ground as well. All right, so... Here, uh, we can see what's going on. Now, here is how uh, a proportion works. We can compare two sides to one another. So if I take this side, okay, of uh, this triangle, and I divide it by this side, but I'm going to set this up as a fraction. This side divided by this side, so we write that right here, 50 over uh, 125, so the height of the tree uh, over the shadow, okay? Uh, so it's just, just like that. Well, that's going to be equal to the same setup over here, okay? So I take not the height of the tree, this is the height of the person, okay, over its shadow, okay, the person's shadow, excuse me, okay? So this is how you set up a proportion. Now, I could have done this 125 over 50, and that would have been x over 6, and if there was a length here, there's any number of different ways you can compare this side. But if I'm comparing this side over this side, then I simply just make that equal to whatever this side is going to be over this side. You have to do it in uh, the precise same order, okay? And you set this equal to one another. This is uh, the definition of a proportion, okay? It's basically uh, two equal fractions. So make sure that you understand that. Okay, hopefully I explained it well enough, okay? We're, what we're doing here is setting up a proportion. So we're going to take the height divided by the shadow, right? Let me do it this way. The height divided by the shadow is going to be equal to this height. Okay, we'll call it, use that a small uh, h, all right, over its shadow, okay, the person's shadow. All right, so you got to be consistent. It can't be height over shadow is equal to shadow over height. It's got to be height over shadow, height over shadow, okay? All right, so hopefully we're super clear on uh, proportions. Now, this really uh, distills down to uh, becoming an algebra problem, and I know that's everyone's favorite topic. So how do we solve proportions? Now, obviously, I have this written out here, but the, the main thing that you need to know about solving proportions is something called a cross product, meaning that if we multiply crossways this way, okay, multiply these two things, okay, this product crosswise, 50 times x, so that's here, 50x, that's going to be equal to the product okay, of these two numbers, 125 times 6. That's something called the cross product. Cross product. You need to understand this for sure. Now, there's a couple different ways, other approaches uh, that are taught on solving proportions. I'm not the biggest fan of them. Yes, they're good to know, but the cross product is just kind of old school math. I mean, like this thing works. It's like a sturdy concept that, you know, if you remember it, you'll be just fine with uh, proportion problems, uh, ratio and, and ratio rate and proportion problems. They're all kind of lumped in. I don't want to get too much into that. Of course, I have a lot of other videos on my uh, channel about that. 
And if you want to learn this more formally, then you want to check out my math learning program. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue on with the problem. So 50 times x is 50x, right? 125 times 6, we'll just write that like so. So now, now we just go ahead and have to uh, solve this basic equation, which I know everybody out there can do in YouTube land. So let's go and knock this out real quick. So 50x is equal to 125 times 6 is 750. And then to solve for x, I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by 50. Okay, and you can see here x is equal to 750 divided by 50, which is 15. All right, so x is equal to 15, but what, what is x? x is the length of the shadow, so our shadow over here is 15 feet. And that is the answer. Okay, so 15 feet is the length of the shadow of the 6-foot person next to the 50-foot tree casting a shadow of 125 feet. Okay, so hopefully you found this problem interesting, and even better yet, uh, hopefully you're like, yeah, I got that problem, I knew exactly what to do. And even better, better is that this strength and you learn something from this, okay? It's the whole idea of these videos, especially if you're you know, here at this uh, stage in the video. But um, with that being said, again, uh, this is something that's definitely taught in geometry. Obviously, it's a geometry type of problem. But the concepts of ratios and proportions are, you know, in algebra, you know, it's, this is a tremendously important uh, topic in middle and high school math and beyond. So it's just, and by the way, just in practical math, it's just something good, good to know, okay? Um, so hopefully you enjoyed the problem. Uh, so, uh, once again, you know, if you need additional math help, you want my full complete math instruction, then you can check out my courses, um, by the link in the description, or, uh, just, I have a lot of things organized on my channel and playlist as well. So hopefully you can find things that way. But with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.